tool what are you trying to build what is your vision around it what if i could learn design from someone who actually design the experiences that i absolutely love now just the idea of that learning from people who you want to become is absolutely freakishly powerful so humne socha this could be a very interesting bridge for able to get the best people mm-hmm. to teach learners thing from google someone is teaching how to run google ads what else in the world would you need i'll see idea a startup teaches you better than mba what is the startup versus mba thing in a sense because the amount of learning mm-hmm. you will have in a early stage company will beat the mba and you raise 5 million dollars how did this happen why did you go for funding you were bootstrap you were profitable agar aapka idea which is very good mm-hmm. can make 10 crores 20 crores 50 crores of profit but cannot make a 1000 crores of revenue 2000 crores of revenue mm-hmm. and doesn't have the potential to make that kinds of profit mm-hmm. scale it's not vc back right i usually <laughs> say this right if you have an idea mm-hmm. which can actually drive a change in the world and you are not working towards it mm-hmm. it is almost you being a criminal here Hello everyone welcome to another episode of what goes behind podcast and this time we are going to see what goes behind building growth school with webav sesinthi great webav thanks a lot thanks a lot for doing this i know you are a busy person and <laughs> great thanks a lot man for hey, doing this thanks for coming all around uh, setting all this stuff up i'm sure people who are on the podcast i don't even know which camera to look at uh, this one this one <laughs> <laughs> for people behind the screens are like three freaking cameras and one phone and what not so thanks for setting up all this stuff <laughs> excited about this thanks a lot great so your journey you know like you started with crazy heads and you became the marketing manager of uber right after that you went to kluk and we have been seeing you a lot a lot on you know linkedin specifically from a long long time and now you jump on and take the plunge to build growth school right how has the journey been what is this journey and what are we building at this point of time the journey has been fun uh, funnily yesterday somebody was saying dude there's a friend of mine who had visited from uber and he said dude every time something didn't work for you something else worked for you now right which is very interesting point and this is something that i keep saying to people as well nobody made the point is yaar a lot of things have happened in my life and i think it's very similar to a lot of other people almost every other person is that there are always spikes and there are always drops right mm-hmm. and every time there's a spike you're super happy about it while there's every time there's a drop you're very paranoid about it i keep saying this to people that every drop that you get is i mean when i say drop uh, i'm talking about a drop in the curve right is actually a massive opportunity for you to try something else that started crazy it right the way crazy it started was because i had a older startup called as discovering android right uh, a blog sort of yeah it was a blog plus some level of hacky stuff some level okay. of service there on mm-hmm. top of it mm-hmm. right we basically were teaching people how to hack android okay right a uh, very old story right now mm-hmm. but google blog does right but during the process of building that uh, we had millions of page views making money and what not right like as first year of engineering college students mm-hmm. while I had to learn how to make websites. I had to learn SEO. I had to learn how to use the fifty dollar Facebook ad coupon, which Facebook used right. to give right. back in the day, and leverage them. Right. So all those things actually led me to learn quite a lot of things. While we had to shut down discovering Android. Okay. Right. Now a lot of people, a lot of my team was like, "Yeah, push growth." Like you know, uh, discovering Android band ho gaya. Kya karenge? Hmm. Agar discovering Android nahi hota. Then mm-hmm. they would have not been crazy ads. Exactly. They wouldn't have picked up those skills. Right. Right. And then crazy ads happened. Crazy ads also was very interesting because at crazy ads we started the education company. I feel I've come back to the old back <laughs> old again. Old curve, right? Not so what did crazy ads do essentially? We started. Yeah, we were kids, okay, and we okay. second year of engineering. And you raised funds for that. I'll I'll get there. <laughs> uh, not many people know about this either. But uh, so we were second year of engineering. King board man, like what do you do with college? Right, right. and there's nothing happening at college. So, कुछ करते हैं, right? And that's when uh, I said, boss, a lot of companies, a lot of people were actually reaching me out mm-hmm. to make like websites because I'd already done discovering right. in the past. There was the other side. I was always been a teacher. Okay. Right. मैं tenth के बाद I used to teach robotics. Okay. Uh, to people because I was deep into robotics. Mm-hmm. Six, seventh, eight, ninth, tenth grade. I was deep into robotics. You have gone to IIT competitions. Okay. Uh, right and competed there. So I taught robotics. उसके बाद क्या हुआ? Twelfth में uh, I taught mothers, moms. Okay. 
on how to use computer when i was in hyderabad okay for pocket money nice right so i've always been a teacher so mm-hmm. engineering mein jab aaya i i got this fascination towards hacking hmm ethical hacking okay. so i st- and i was decently good at speaking so mm-hmm. i i started teaching ethical, ethical hacking, hacking in other colleges okay. where other companies would come and say that yaar you become our speaker we'll pay you like some 15 grand insane amount of money mm-hmm. for one session but they would probably make 1 lakh right right i right. said boss why shouldn't i do this right so crazy ads ka naam dala uske upar crazy ads education karke aur ek layer dal diya education was all about we going to different colleges and teaching okay right and we did some 25 30 workshops offline mm-hmm. and these workshops are nuts right like these were like 8 hours a day standing yeah, in delhi right i have seen i have seen those you've been it there was, it was nuts for super fun Uh, but on top of that i we also started to do websites and you know all that so that led me to a learning curve of eventually i fizzled out the website uh, the workshops part because too much of effort right while the websites building uh, marketing plans building branding building logos was a much lucrative business to kind of thrive so we figured that bit out we shut one side of the business down we doubled down on the other side of the business in fact today right one of the businesses that we built a logo of it's called far i recently okay. raised 200 million dollars in funding they still use the same logo amazing <laughs> so, right uh, one of the company tungsten got acquired by zomato all these were brands that we had designed we back. back in the day a bunch of brands like this right advantage club again raised 100 million dollars mm-hmm. plus the bunch of i'm not sure if advantage club has raised 100 million somewhere around that right got into yc and okay not right. fund is but that also made us learn and realize quite a lot of things you know at crazy it's also yaar yeah, after a point of time i also kind of got bored or kya karna chahiye kitna karu kitna phase karu that is when uber happened right okay. like when uber happened again right like how how did it happen well funny story dude i saw a facebook ad okay. saying uber is hiring okay and uh, i asked one of my friend who was looking for jobs that you should apply she okay. was like dude you should apply to uh-huh. and come to bangalore and tag along uh-huh. you know like Why not? Just give a minute. I was like, I was so done. I needed a break. I said, "Chal, ठीक है करते हैं." Okay. I applied. She applied. She never got a call back. I did get a call back. And then I said, uh, "I'm not gonna come and interview." They said, "No, you don't have to. Like, you just okay. do it over phone." I mean, back in the day, Uber was like remote. Right. right? Okay. <laughs> Google Meets में कर लेंगे. Nice. And that's how it was. All the okay. interviews were. I never visited okay. Google. It took us a couple of months. And way ahead of us, yar. Right. So it was super fun. The interviews were fun. I really enjoyed it for the first time you know uh, I always thought because maybe engineering mein padha hu like in college interviews are like aptitude ah, ye wo wagera wagera mere ko interview se karna hi nahi tha right. but they said there is no aptitude here okay there is no code test here sirf it they are all situational okay you know, they are hiring for a generalist role right all situational i absolutely love the interviews okay राइट आई वुड लुक अप टू इंटरव्यू सिंह आज क्या पूछेंगे मजा आएगा ओके राइट बात बारह तेरह लोग बात किए उसके बाद बोले चलो ठीक है आ जाओ एंड देन आई वाज लाइक क्या करूं क्या करूं क्या करूं क्या करूं जाऊं ना जाऊं जाऊं ना जाऊं बट देन आई सेड चल ठीक है जाते हैं तीन चार महीने करते हैं कुछ सीख के आएंगे अप्लाई करेंगे राइट इन रेजिडेंट्स आई एंडेड अप स्पेंडिंग 4 एंड 1/2 इयर्स एट ओबर बिकॉज़ आई एब्सोल्युटली लव्ड इट Right, I kept jumping from one job to another, one role to another. It was fun, uh, right? Uh, funnily enough, Uber was this place where uh, you know they allowed you to experiment and do things. Right, right. They were not one of those people who do yehi kar. Once you solve for something, you're okay to do other things. So mm. I moved on from being a journalist role to a a marketer mm. and went deep into mm-hmm. a bunch of other things. Eventually, did S N P at Mexico uh, City and. Yeah, and then uh, again, right? The transition, which is a very interesting one, is uh, around the fact that I was supposed to move to Mexico right. permanently. Yes. Right, and some shit happened, and uh, one day before I was about to move, mm-hmm. they said your move is cancelled. Not just mine, a lot of people all okay. around the world moves were cancelled. Okay. There was a restructuring that happened. Okay. Right. So imagine, I left my house. Okay. Damn. I resigned from the existing role inside of Uber. Inside of Uber. In India, so that I can move to Mexico. Okay. There was an offer letter. I was moving the next day. I okay. had a house that I had booked for six months in Mexico. Damn it. Mexico City. Everything was done. The flight is next day. I just come back from a party that I threw to my friends. Oh. That, Goodbye. <laughs> for guys. that. For that. I'll be back soon. <laughs> I'll be back in a few six months. Right. And I get a call saying your move is cancelled. Like. Right. this man like every time you throw a party to go to us or <laughs> anywhere so my friend threw a party to go to canada and covid happened so from 3 years he is in dehradun now <laughs> so yeah i mean but again right when this happened uh, 
this was my trigger point saying that maybe I should do something else. Mm-hmm. I've got very comfortable at Uber. Again, right? I was in this paradigm shift here two months ago. I don't have a role. I still am getting paid at right. Uber. Right. But I'm actually jobless on paper because I don't have a job. Okay. So Uber said take two months and figure out what to do instead of Uber and go. Nice. Right? That's how that, that's, that's good, good for them, right? The way yeah. they are doing it, right? Yeah. And that's how it is. I said, I was like, okay, but I decided this is it. I've okay. spent enough time with Uber, right. it's time to move on. Right. There are some other things as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, and that's when uh, some shit went down. Mm-hmm. So I jumped into a smaller company, which was Kluke. Okay. Right? But there, the, again, the opportunities were ton, right? Like I could have chosen to move to Singapore, I could have chosen to move to US. Mm-hmm. I, I chose to move to a city of Bombay, mm-hmm. which I always was under the assumption I'll never move to. I hated okay. the city. Okay. Right? Uh, but I said I love how Kluke is positioned as a brand because mm-hmm. they're struggling in India. Mm-hmm. Right? They need help. If mm-hmm. I'm able to go and drive and impact, it'll do two things. One mm-hmm. is that it'll help the business. Two is that it'll validate my fact. Because when you're working for a company for a good four, four and a half years and a company is doing really well mm-hmm. all throughout, mm-hmm. you have this existential crisis saying, Am I driving an impact? Right. Main kuch kar raha ki wo khud se ja khud ja se ja mere se kitna ho raha what is that impact that I am driving? I'm driving. How good am I? Or am I just getting lucky? Right. Right? These were all questions that keeps you underconfident. Right. And I was going through that phase then. What? I have something that I have And everything is just falling in place. Right. Right? right? So I wanted this validation for myself. Mm-hmm. So that's when I said, but I didn't want to join a bigger business or I didn't want to join, go to SF for Uber and all that. Mm-hmm. I wanted to go for a smaller company and kind of put everything that I learned. Mm-hmm. Kluga and Wahabo Masaya because I built a team, we grew the business okay. from 7 to some 26 million dollars in 7-8 months, uh, right? Super fun there. And then COVID happened. Okay. When COVID happened, again there were two options. I could move to Singapore mm-hmm. at Kluge, uh or I could just let go and take 25 other offers that people were throwing at me, mm-hmm. right? At that point of time. Right. But then again, when that down peak happened, COVID ho gaya, abhi kya main? Mm-hmm. I had to let go all of my team in Kluke India. Okay. Right? Uh, what do I do now? Right. That's when I said, Charo, do saal ke liye, fit and log. I'll give two years to myself and figure out kuch kar sakte hai kya, mm-hmm. as a startup again. Right? But that's what led to me starting a LinkedIn workshop and we got traction there. That's what led me to do a few more workshops with a few more friends. Eventually, it led to what growth to this today. So, every time there's something going down, I'm getting goosebumps, but that's why something, <laughs> something else works out pretty much. Amazing, man. Amazing. When this happened, right, everyone goes to your profile and sees who is this guy, who is this guy, you know, t- share, sharing about LinkedIn, you know. And I went to your website way really long back at that point of time and said, There's some kind of five day workshop going on here around LinkedIn. What is this happening? What I've noticed is you started really small, you started with one workshop. Yeah. Then again, one workshop. Then again, one workshop. Then again, one workshop. And first thing is, how were you so persistent at it? Number one. Second thing is, how did you take the plunge from going from that one workshop to this? This is, you know, something very different. A lot of course creators just create workshops and just keep doing that again and again and again. But you have taken a sort of plunge, you know, to growth school. How did that happen? I always realize I'm not a creator creator. Okay. There are two kinds of people, right? One who are creators who are really good all by themselves. Right? They can do great stuff just by them. And these are all called creators. They become mm-hmm. YouTubers, they become mm-hmm. Instagrammers or whatnot. Right. A few of them turn out to be teachers or whatnot. I am not the strongest creator you will find, right? I like doing things bigger than me. If I'm the biggest thing, I'm not excited about it. Mm-hmm. Right? So that is how I've always been. Okay. Uh, I could have continued to do what I want, what I do with a very small two, three member team and probably make good money and drive impact all right. throughout happily. But that is not exciting enough for me. I will only do that for six months and shut it down. I know that because money is not a motivator. All these things are not motivation. Not a motivation right. It's it has to excite me more than anything else. Everything else is secondary. I'm on my tiptoes. Am I excited when I wake up? Am I being challenged every day? If I'm not being then I'm not just not fun. Just not fun. Your life is not fun. Hmm. And that's when I realized was right, it has to grow bigger than me. Or else it'll become a it'll, I'll become one more creator. Right. And I don't want to be a creator. Pretty There's nothing wrong with being a creator. Huh. <laughs> right. For that's the Twitter artists. But it is not for me. 
it's a very lonely right. journey i feel right. as a creator it is. It right is. entrepreneurship is creatorship is even lonely even. it's all about you huh. right and not something that i enjoy doing right but i i'm happy to be a part time creator right i'm happy to have that flair of it but that i didn't want it to be the center point so that's when i realized there is an opportunity here mm-hmm. if i don't do it someone else will mm-hmm. good that i realized it Mm-hmm. right if i don't double down tomorrow i'll sit and say boss yaar ye mera hi idea ye mera idea tha lekin maine kiya nahi which which we every all Every, of us have said. everyone is saying so i said chalo let's take a plunge and a lot of things also kind of uh, worked out we were lucky i have to say this i am very unsure uh, if this could have happened if there was no covid the mm-hmm. shift of like i feel in startup right the success of the startup number one factor is timing absolutely whatever is your idea whoever is behind it everything else is okay right the most important factor for a startup to succeed is timing right. and i feel we were in the right time in the right place okay and uh, that's what led us to get that early traction faster mm-hmm. which could have pretty much taken us two years to get to we got that early traction like three four months right right which validated the idea fast and the space that it went in was what excited me mm-hmm. right and excited other people as well great man great uh, so i would like to know i really love this idea of growth school like your, your website says to learn from top 1% educators right something like that and uh, what is the beauty of what you're building is i think you are driving upskilling for those people who after college in a sense right i would like to share a bit about growth school what are you trying to build what is your vision around it like if you think about education not just in the country of the world right the best of the education is uh, accessible to only to a very very small portion of people right right and that very small portion of people are people who get into a iit iim uh, you know ivy league colleges and all that but if you get it come be come below that right the access of quality education and community is lacking Mm-hmm. right now when you fundamentally think about what is that uh, you know what are the most powerful elements of a iit of a top college for that matter is the fact that they have access to a great community of people that is the reason why iit and iim and all these colleges are powerful is because jo log jo log ke sath tum padhte ho they are also the top cream the community yes. is the strongest part of it right right that is literally what colleges are known for but when you think about what is education education is learning right fundamentally all across the board right at least in india and most of us in the world education is outdated you don't do what you learn and in most of the cases the people who teach you are people who are not practitioners themselves hmm right that's exactly why unemployment is extremely high hmm. because there is this misfit between the need and the skill set that these people have hmm right now when i think about it right how can we bridge this hmm who are the best people so let's say today i want to become a designer okay okay i will say who is that which companies that i look up to when it comes to design i might say cred zomato swiggy you know amazon whatever right. it is right what if i could learn design from someone who actually designed the experiences that i absolutely love right now just the idea of that learning from people who you want to become is absolutely freakishly powerful and it solves a lot of problems just by itself right what do i mean by that one you're learning from people who are doing the job that you want to do tomorrow so you're yes. cut all that bullshit aside right. you learn only the things that are necessary yes. as a result you can cut down your journey shorter right right and learn what is the 80 20 rule kind of applies right absolutely that is one two is you're getting access to other people mm-hmm. who also want to learn in that same angle also have that same thought process of learning right. so the sense of community is also being solved for mm. and obviously right the overall access that you're able to build in terms of content curriculum you know in terms of access to the person of asking doubts your perspectives talking to other people is being solved so humne socha this could be a very interesting bridge for able to get the best people mm-hmm. to teach learners right now for us to do this right that two ways of going about right it. 
वन इज दैट यार हम भी एक स्कूल बन जाएंगे uh will bring in a lot of people who are already working let's say a few designers from figgy mm. zomato a few techies from facebook google mm. all sabko hire kar lenge hum mm. and wo teachers bana denge mm. now uska ek bahut bada problem hai for us to pull this off i will need thousands of people right because there are literally thousands of things that needs to be taught right 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 and this i'm not even getting started about things that are not even taught in a school or a college right. for example category management Hmm. There is no school college that teaches category management. They don't commerce. teach taxes, yeah. So, <laughs> for category I mean, management, just yeah, right. People teach marketing, but they yeah. teach Facebook ads. Who teaches performance? No Nobody one. Does. No one. No one. Does. Like there's so many gaps that hmm. exist. Which education is also not filling. Forget about replacing the current education. Right. Right. And this can all be. And it's growing. NFT is coming up. Cryptos are coming up. Everything is. Coming. Every space is opening up. Opening up. Uh, there are so many uh, untapped categories that exist out there. Mm. Who is going to teach how to become an engineer in a EV in a EV company? Mm. Right. Right. There is no background of it. I mean, unless you go to a very specialized PhD mm. in electro. I mean, in electric mobility or whatever. Mm. Right. But what if you go? You're a civil engineer, or electronic, or a electrical engineer, and someone at Tesla can come teach you mm-hmm. how they think about whatever battery, right. whatever. <laughs> right. You get my intent, right? right? So that was the thought process, and we thought that we will not be able to hire people. We will become Amazon. Amazon, okay. Sell our services. We will become Uber. Right. We will become a marketplace, okay. but a curated one. Okay. What do I mean by that? We will find the best of the people. Mm-hmm. Or already working in a full time job, mm-hmm. and we want them to be working in a full time job for as long as they can because that's where they learn what is right. industry relevant. Right, right. But for a full time person to come in and teach, it's extremely hard to do all by himself. Right. He has to know how to write ads. He has to know how to write landing pages. He has to know how to create curriculum. He has to know how, how to, to shoot videos. How to shoot videos. How to present himself in a live class. How to do email support? He can't do all this. Landing pages. It's a whole lot of process. So we we ran a cohort based course for building chatbots. When COVID hit us, so we ran a cohort based course to survive, right? And we I taught two fifty people, right? And me and him was you know in two days we used to bring call everyone and bring sales law. It's a whole process. It's quite a lot. And yes. that too, if you have a full time job, ninety nine percent of people can't do can't it. do it. Yes. So we said let's take care of all that. Let's mm. take care of the tech. Let's take care of the distribution. Mm. Let them come in. Mm-hmm. And we'll make them the face of the category. Right. Okay. We'll make sure we get the best information out of them using our process. Mm-hmm. As a result, learners can have an amazing experience. Amazing. Okay. And that's the idea of Love School today. And today we have like what thirty programs. One year later, when we speak, we we'll have hundred plus. And I think you have taught more than two lakh, two lakh people somewhere. More than that. Now. Amazing, amazing. My my younger brother took your performance marketing program and after that workshop also, and he's in final year uh, IIT Rupert. He was he went crazy man he went crazy. Yeah. He was like why are we coming on the show and everything? So he was like he was very happy yar. Yeah. So I I said him just go join this one and see what happens. And he just took the workshop after that and said yar yeah, these guys are amazing from Google. Someone is teaching how to run Google ads. What what else in the world would you need? I see idea. Right right amazing amazing. Come on to that part of you know educating everyone. You uh you posted something before that okay that, that popped up on Twitter and then again you. Tweeted something and you have to delete that tweet. <laughs> so I'll come to that. <laughs> you said that we are hiring MBAs because we are not. And then you said MBA versus startup. Ka, you know, ki, uh, startup teaches you better than MBA. What is the startup versus MBA thing in a sense? Yeah, uh, I think uh, there was this tweet. I mean, just to double down, mm-hmm. there was this tweet that I tweeted saying that working in an early stage startup is probably yes more powerful than mm-hmm. you doing an MBA from a top school, B right. school. Right, and the thought process around this, the mm-hmm. background around this was: Why do you go to a school? Right, to learn so that you can drive an impact in the work that you do. Absolutely. Now, when you go to a B school, mm-hmm. while keeping the community part intact, mm-hmm. while keeping the fact that you will meet great people there, mm-hmm. what is that that you are learning today, which you can apply directly in the business that you do today? B school two years of B school curriculum is designed for you to fit into twenty five different jobs. Yes, a techie can become a product manager, mm-hmm. right? Uh, I don't know, like uh, an engineer is hoping that he can become a manager at some point of time. An engineer, in terms of student, moving to this, hoping that he can move into a business role, mm-hmm. right? Someone thinks that I'll get into consulting. Mm-hmm. Someone feels that they'll get into ecom. So there are very clear perspectives of what they want to do. In a lot of cases, right. And when you go to a B school and spend two years there, mm-hmm. while the impact of you learning from others is great, 
but the goal that you are trying to achieve mm-hmm. is actually very skewed because mm-hmm. you are not able to learn about what you want to do exactly. my thought process bhai agar aapko if you if you have the clarity that you want to work for education mm-hmm. you might as well join a early stage edtech business mm-hmm. and figure out all of the things because a b school is not going to teach you any of those stuff absolutely sadly b schools are also not practical today abhi bhi mujhe ye aata hai kya matlab my friends keep sending me this link saying that mm-hmm. dude mera research form bhar de uh, right all that happens dude kya kya research form this is not my tg mm-hmm. yaar assignment hai bhar de <laughs> That right. is the problem. You are not trying to solve a problem. You are mm. trying to get a tick done. Right, right. Now I really want to ask this, right? If we remove the element saying, "I will get a degree," will get an MBA. Without degree, will you get an MBA? 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 Will you You might as well join an early stage company, boss, because the amount of learning mm-hmm. you will have in an early stage company will beat the MBA. Absolutely. And I can, I, I have this strong hunch and strong feeling, right? One बंदे को MBA बढ़ाओ mm-hmm. after engineering, mm-hmm. और एक बंदे को दो साल के लिए early stage startup में बिठाओ. बस. दो साल के बाद दोनों से बात करो. देखते हैं कौन smart निकलता है. Right. In terms of execution, mm-hmm. there is one role. This is where the uh, funny thing happens. Right? There was one role where I said. MBA चाहिए mm-hmm. because हम MBA नहीं है oh. <laughs> and this was for chief of staff okay right because that is management that is hardcore management right. of stakeholder management mm. you know consulting background mm. there are a, for example finance mm. right तुम कहाँ से कोगे चाहिए तुमको C A C A चाहिए हाँ तुमको C A F O बनना है तो right. चाहिए उसके बाद MBA चाहिए business right. I'm not ridiculing the fact of MBA I'm saying boss for most of the cases <laughs> Right. Getting on an early stage company will get you to where you want faster. Right, right, right. There used to be this time. This is very funny. Okay, mm. there used to be this time where engineers used to do MBAs uh-huh. because they were hoping that they'll get a salary hike. Right. Today, engineers make way more money than any MBA does. Right. And most of the techies that you see are actually engineers. They're not MBAs. Right. They make way more money. Right. That shift is already happening. Happen. Right. Before this, MBA used to be like a catalyst for your mm, career and all. But abhi nahi hai, yar. Abhi I feel. Dekho, if you are able to get into when you say a top tier like an IIM, the community, the network that you build is insanely valuable. Mm. No doubts around it. Mm. The moment you come below that, the effectiveness of it just just goes down. Goes down. down. Right. Right? How can we solve for that? Right. तुम लोग बहुत लोग अभी भी मिलते हो यार मुझे MBA करना है क्यों? क्यों करना चाहिए? भाई, come join work. <laughs> right. Right. Figure out things, That's build it. stuff. Right. Right. That was the intent, but हो गया. Right. Uh, I think uh, <laughs> LinkedIn में ना I'm used to writing longer posts ah, with explanations. I think था. that is the format that works. Right. Because people need explanations. Explanations, <laughs> right. वो कहीं और ही ले जाते हैं एंड एंड दे कीप ट्रोलिंग फॉर नो रीजन इट्स नॉट अबाउट ट्रोलिंग राइट द रीजन व्हाई आई डिलीटेड दैट ट्वीट इज आल्सो इंटरेस्टिंग बिकॉज़ आई सॉ 80% ऑफ द पीपल सेइंग यस वेब ऑफ दिस इज द राइट अप्रोच द 20% पीपल सेइंग दैट व्हाट इज दिस एमबीए इज इंपॉर्टेंट और दिस इज बुलशिट बेसिकली क्या हुआ पीपल गॉट डिवाइडेड इनटू टू थिंग्स ओके एंड आई डिडंट लाइक दैट बिकॉज़ दैट वाज द आईडिया वाज नॉट टू डिवाइड नॉट टू डिवाइड पीपल द आईडिया वाज नॉट फॉर पीपल टू फाइट सो दैट्स व्हाई आई सेड बस द कभी How yeah. how end of September I must okay. say I don't exactly remember the dates. Okay, how did you build this? Yeah, it's been a fun. Uh, I saw your tweet that you are a full time hiring manager. Yeah, like I changed my role from being a CEO to CHRO, HRO, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. I spend most of the time talking to people, understanding and hiring. So the few things that worked really well for us in hiring, while a lot of like I feel now is the hardest. Right time to hire. People. Right, everyone is in Bangalore specifically. It's crazy, man. Irrespective of where it is, <laughs> be very frank. Right, getting good talent is very very difficult. Right, or uh, because people have way too many options. Yes, just way too many options. So we had to 
be very complacent of the fact uh, that people have options mm-hmm. and we want people who are driven also humko aise bhi nahi chahiye kisi ko bhi leke aa jao kiya to kiya nahi to nahi we are very 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 particular about hiring in fact mm-hmm. a lot of people who join us take pay cuts okay so, this is a start of india mm-hmm. and the only way we've been able to pull this off is uh, we reiterate the mission statement that we do create mandate and what do you what do you look for in people or what do you ask them you know to when you hire them and essentially yeah bahut cheeze hote hai it becomes pretty much dependent on the role mm-hmm. <coughs> to be frank but i think the few traits that we look at people uh, especially at the stage of the company that we are in one is that how connected are they to what we are trying to do how mm-hmm. what how much they believe in our mission mm-hmm. funnily most of the i think 60 to 70% of the people have joined us either because they have taken a program from us okay. in the past and seen the value or they know people who have taken the programs from okay. us okay there's no reason for anybody to join such an early stage company right. with so many options right. right and take a pay cut a lot of cases <laughs> take a pay cut as right. well in right. senior roles mm-hmm. right is because of this that is one mm-hmm. in terms that's a fundamental thing that we look at across the board okay right but again when we go deeper right mm-hmm. there are few traits that we look at uh what is the level of ownership that they kind of put i mean we mm-hmm. get we have to get a feeling that this guy is an owner irrespective of it could be an intern mm-hmm. to a leadership role mm-hmm. ownership is absolutely important in a startup mm-hmm. in fact in every company to be very frank because if you're not an owner and if you kind of become like a renter in terms of yaar uh, why didn't this happen because i was waiting for him to get back waiting mm. for him to get we don't want that because it's already a mess in a startup right, right? we want someone to take up stuff and get them done mm. and ownership is extremely extremely important mm-hmm. and as a business we are very data driven okay right mm-hmm. so everybody everything that we look at is even if they don't understand data on day zero mm-hmm. but they have that thinking Hmm. Of thinking about backing it up with reasons which are data driven in some sorts. Okay. Right for junior guys and for senior guys, it's it's an absolute no brainer, right? The few things that we look at in form of combination, most of all, yeah, uh, key. They should. I mean, the idea here is your work should be fun. Right. Right. Uh, and when you came here, you only told me, yeah, like, sab lo. <laughs> काम में पड़े हुए राइट राइट दैट इज सो मच हैपनिंग एंड दैट इज हैपनिंग बिकॉज़ ऑफ ऑल दीस ट्रेड्स कमिंग इन टुगेदर राइट गॉट इट दैट रिस्पेक्ट दैट पीपल हैव एंड दैट ओपननेस नो वी डोंट हैव अ टाइम स्लॉट सेइंग यू हैव टू कम एट दिस टाइम ओके पीपल कम एट लाइक 11:30 12:30 12:30 यू यू विल स्टिल फाइंड पीपल एट 10:30 11:00 इन द नाइट वर्किंग अमेजिंग राइट सो इट्स एन ओपन कल्चर दैट यू हैव सेट अप अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स दैट आई हैव लर्नड बैक एट उबर एंड टू इज अ लॉट ऑफ फीडबैक दैट कम्स इन फ्रॉम द टीम to mm-hmm. take it up and kind of try to implement it as long as you're doing right by the employees good amazing amazing uh, what do you think are the basics of building good culture because i feel that this is very sweet culture that you have built and in a short duration it becomes hard to do that right it's not easy to hire mm-hmm. 70 people in 4 months and then you say okay yeah, culture bhi acha hai right so how do you think are the you know how how do you maintaining culture or driving culture yaar yeah, culture acha hai nahi hai we haven't measured it okay right so i cannot say that culture must be nahi i mean mm. you should come and talk to people right they will tell you better right. about what they feel about it but essentially the few things that we kind of uh, you know celebrate here right we are not very very in terms of output kya aaya mm. we are more about intent tha okay try kiya mm. did you try did you give your 100% mm. output kuch bhi ho sakta hai right as long as you let people fail mm. and you celebrate their effort and intent people fundamentally like it right right and that becomes essence of business and that makes them feel that ha huh, it's well sakta two is mutual respect within the team mm. and within the leadership to a junior team is extremely important mm. and i feel that exists as a startup we have a very open hierarchy ki yaar koi bhi kisi ke sath jaake kisi ke sath bhi baat karta main bhi udhar bhai you don't have a cabin right nobody has <laughs> like those those ideas are outdated gone right founder cabin leadership <laughs> those i mean those those ideas are outdated it's no more uh, i mean i can't sit in a cabin also right nobody right. can right it's open right anybody can walk in and like i said right don't contain people to saying yaar you clock these number of hours mm. office, right those are all outdated ideas. Try, yeah. to be very frank we are not doing anything out of the world mm. we are doing stuff we are letting people be mm-hmm. and we are only asking for one thing is drive the outcome that you are supposed to drive put in the effort in the right place right got it 
आपको रात में दस बजे काम करना है मॉर्निंग सात बजे काम करना है आपका रोज आपको करना है कैसे आपको करना है राइट सो दैट इज इट इट्स ओपन पीपल हैव द वर्ड लाइक पीपल कैन पुट देयर थॉट्स आउट एंड दे विल बी रेस्पेक्टेड नो मैटर हु दे आर स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम एन इंटर्न टू अड ऑफ एक्स एंड हेड ऑफ वाई दैट्स वॉट सेट्स एवरी थिंग अप एंड आई थिंक इट्स ईजियर टू सेट अ कल्चर एज अ अर्ली कंपनी मेंटेनिंग दैट इज वेरी हार्ड right as we grow from 70 to let's say 500 right. how do you maintain that becomes very very important and that is something that we have not cracked yet but that have to be drive by these people who are there the early people the early people like right. that the early right. people should drive that we don't know how to go right uh, but i also feel that once culture goes wrong it's very hard to fix absolutely so do the right thing the right time and i think what team is everything Absolutely. उसके अलावा कुछ नहीं है फिर यू कान डू एवरी थिंग इट्स टीम एवरी थिंग बी मोटिवेटेड है How did this happen? Why did you go for funding? You were bootstrapped. You were profitable. Why? Why funding? Yeah, the fundamentally two kinds of businesses that exist according to me. One are lifestyle businesses. Mm-hmm. One are VC backed businesses. Right. What makes a lifestyle business is VC backable. Fundamentally, is ये भी मैं भी अभी अभी सीखा हूँ. Okay. Right. Is the fact that how big a business can become? Can mm-hmm. become a billion dollar company, two billion mm-hmm. dollar company, three billion dollar, four billion dollar company. अगर आपका आइडिया विच इज वेरी गुड कैन मेक टेन क्रोर्स ट्वेंटी क्रोर्स फिफ्टी क्रोर्स ऑफ प्रॉफिट बट कैन नॉट मेक अ थाउजेंड क्रोर्स ऑफ रेवेन्यू टू थाउजेंड क्रोर्स ऑफ रेवेन्यू एंड डजेंट हैव द पोटेंशियल टू मेक दैट कैंड ऑफ प्रॉफिट इट्स के इट्स नॉट वी सी बैक राइट राइट फंडामेंटली पहले वो सोचना है बट मेरा हमारा सीन यही था कि यार वी वर डूइंग समथिंग वॉज गोइंग एवरी थिंग इन द राइट डायरेक्शन वी वेर प्रॉफिटेबल राइट वी एक्चुअली आर स्टिल सी एम पॉजिटिव टूडे राइट बट अगेन द फैक्ट दैट we realize the model that we are working on is infinitely scalable we are not mm-hmm. solving this for abhi hum log kya kar rahe hain in india mm-hmm. we are solving for startup as a category mm-hmm. in the inside of the startup as a category there are few categories that we are dabbling into product growth design tech right. utna hi kar rahe hain abhi right utne mein hi we have a sizable business and as a potential to grow 100x from here damn oh. imagine if we just open it up mm. why are we thinking about just engineering right, uh, right. computer science and internet mm. why not civil why not electrical why mm. not this why are we just talking about engineering as a fact why can't we go to finance why can't we go to chartered accountants why can't we go to lawyers mm. why are we thinking about only like uh, you know like this way why can't we think about you know like going around nursing going around there's so many things that needs to be done mm-hmm. and the idea is infinitely scalable and this i'm talking about india and it's a global thing it's a global thing it's a global problem to solve right now if i don't raise a round of investment right now mm-hmm. i'm very certain someone else will absolutely right uh, and build this mm-hmm. because that realization was already happening mm-hmm. and my intent always has been ki yaar bada bana to tab mm-hmm. bazaar aayega right same right i told you as a creator you can only be something right as a bootstrap business while it is great mm. right as a lifestyle business much more easy on you 15 member ka team chala raha hai shanti se kaam kar raha hai sar hai sab sahi hai chill hai sab chal raha hai right the risk appetite is lower hmm but pressure nahi hai wo maza nahi hai but like i i usually <laughs> say this right if you have an idea hmm. which can actually drive a change in the world then and you are not working towards it hmm. it is almost you being a criminal here right and that's that's what made me tip my toes and says boss ja ke isko bada banana chahiye bada banane ke liye support chahiye team chahiye hmm. scale chahiye hmm. uske liye paise chahiye got it so we went ahead and raised the round of funding and i think coming to the size of the round that we managed to pull off is fundamentally because when we went to raise money right mm-hmm. a lot of people okay. go on a idea stage right right if i had gone to raise money probably one and a half years back mm-hmm. maybe i could have raised money mm-hmm. or maybe i couldn't have i don't know if i could have i probably would have raised same 700000 dollars or maybe a billion dollars right so, right nahi aata because wo idea stage mein tha abhi kya hai we already have a 10 member team there was a early product market fit mm-hmm. we were doing excess of a million dollars in revenue mm-hmm. and we had a very clear side kya dhanda aise banega mm-hmm. abhi mujhe paise milega to ye 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 scale karke isko hum log itna bada bana sakte hain right so i could rack in a bigger round right so take a slightly bigger chunk because that was the need 
right right uh, so that's essentially how the size of the round kind of happens mm-hmm. lot of people raise a seed round on a very early stage hmm बट हमने थोड़ा लेट किया उस बड़ा राउंड हुआ ऐसे कुछ मैजिक नहीं हुआ कि हमको लाइक वी वेर इन्वेस्टर्स वाज नाइस टू अस मेरा शक्ल उनको अच्छा लगा था ऐसे नहीं होता है ओके इट इज जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ द टाइम दैट वी बेंट आफ्टर बिल्डिंग एन ओनली पी एम एफ गॉट इट गॉट इट गॉट इट एंड वॉट यू थिंक आर द मेजर थिंग्स इन्वेस्टर्स सी बिफोर यू नो सो इट्स फॉर द ऑन्टरप्रनोर्स इन सेंस राइट वॉट शुड दे हैव इन प्लेस बिफोर गोइंग फॉर बिफोर इन थिंकिंग टू फंड रेज one is that is your business investable vc fundable okay which i said right as as is your business has the potential to become a multi billion dollar company mm-hmm. right aaj to 1 billion dollar company 2 saal mein ban gaya right now now i'm sure they're looking at 10 billion uh, right 20 hundred abhi wo unicorn ka definition badalne wala jaldi hai badal raha hai badal gaya hai right right now billion dollar company is not a big thing right. Right. but does the business idea the problem that you're solving has the potential to become that mm-hmm. that's number one mm-hmm. two is who is doing that mm-hmm. right what is your own pain point and mm-hmm. why did you eventually come to this mm-hmm. because that builds conviction that builds conviction with the investors that ye banda kar payega kar payega idea great hai mm-hmm. dhanda ban payega lekin ye banda kar payega ki nahi right ya ye bande kar payenge ya bandiyan kar payengi mm-hmm. like right. is the team right capable enough to be able to pull this off mm-hmm. is the other one now you you can talk about tam sam or sab to hack anyways mm-hmm. i think fundamentally these are two things that investors look at because what i've realized is if even two of this may ek thoda zyada ek thoda kam hai na they still end up investing because they were like if the team is strong would not they'll figure out they'll figure out right. if this would doesn't work they'll figure out something uh-huh. so most of the early stage investments happens based of the team okay based of who the person is right and what is the idea that they're solving for rather than anything else got it Nice, nice. What were some mistakes that you made that you learned from major mistakes? You said, "Yeah, this is not going to work. This, this is done. So, learn from this, and now you can be better." Yeah, there are many things. 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 Now we started to implement them. The lot of chote 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 mistakes, at least in growth school, right? Mm-hmm. But I think uh, we were a little, what do you call it? Clear about what to do because pehle hum log, I made a lot of mistakes in the past. Mm-hmm. Right? Those were the covers that I already was making. But a few things is I, or I still feel, yar, initially na. मैं लीन लीन करके बहुत ही ज्यादा लीन लीन बना दिया था ओके राइट इफ आई कुड एफोर्ड अ ट्वेंटी मेंबर टीम इफ आई कुड हैव डन दैट वी प्रॉब्ली वुड हैव डन टू टाइम्स द रेवेन्यू बाय द टाइम वी रेज मनी एंड प्रॉब्ली वुड हैव रेज अ 10 15 मिलियन डॉलर राउंड सो फाइव ओके राइट बिकॉज़ वी कुड हैव जस्ट मेड द बिजनेस बिगर बट आई बिकेम टू एप्रिहेंसिव ऑफ कीप ऑफ बीइंग यू डिडंट इवन लॉन्च इट पब्लिकली राइट इट वाज जस्ट लैंडिंग पेजेस बस लैंडिंग वेबसाइट थी नहीं थिंग्स Now, if we spend five lakhs and X number of hours on building the website, वो धंधा बढ़ाएगा क्या अभी? What is the magnitude of business that will grow? Okay. And what is the time lost while doing that? Because you're a small team. Right. How can I use my team time to do something else? Yes. No, the fundamental mistake that I feel I did here uh, is the fact that uh, I could have just said, "Boss, two, three people को और hire करके इसको बना देते हैं." I still wanted to keep the team small, and वो fundamentally उसके वजह से बहुत सारे you know there were good things, there were bad things that happened. The bad things were yeah we could have done bigger than mm-hmm. what we wanted to do. Mm-hmm. Uh, these are some interesting disadvantages that I would say. If I could do uh, do this all over again, mm-hmm. I would probably fix a few of these things. Amazing, amazing. So how do you how do you think WhatsApp is you know shaping up in terms of business to customer engagement? Oh, uh, when it comes to communication, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, the most powerful channel is the one where you have the most captivating audiences in, right? Right, and most underserved in terms of promotions mm-hmm. or in terms of 
uh, you know like what update as a communication mm-hmm. the reason why our emails are going for toss is it's just so much of clutter happening right. there especially right. in india sms is dead right. so what messenger beach mein aaya tha but messenger also is almost dead right gone gone and right? i feel whatsapp has become the primary channel in fact i was talking with someone at meta yesterday okay right we we're building a program with someone at meta nice. she actually led whatsapp for business uh the global policy she is from sf so okay. london okay right? okay and we were talking about the same thing mm mm-hmm. this is incredibly powerful just because the fact that you can reach to people mm-hmm. in a place where they're most active at absolutely you can drive a message mm-hmm. and they're going to read it and the chances of the roi that you can get mm-hmm. of whatsapp is probably highest right now right at least for a few sea and india as a market right right so very powerful we are also leveraging it i think we were also a little late okay. we still did whatsapp but in our own ways but with whatsapp for business coming in and whatsapp actually opening up promotional messages mm-hmm. also right now mm-hmm. it just becomes more interesting i just hope they cre- they just keep that layer clean <laughs> so that this also doesn't become one right. more spam center right so finally you know concluding this what would be the three pieces of advice you would give someone who is just starting up i think uh, first of all don't take my advice for advice these are my learnings right okay uh, the most important thing according to me is be persistent mm-hmm. right like we have to remember one thing if it was so easy everybody would have done it absolutely all right so just be persistent don't give up yet and also knowing when to give up is also important so mm-hmm. that's the second learning that i have mm-hmm. right be persistent but jab chhodna chahiye tab chhod do kicho mat usko because there's always a tipping point uh, and there's always a low point you will recover but if the recovery is not happening and you're seeing it's not happening because of few reasons which are not in your control stop mm-hmm. wasting your time right all right so that is uh, two Uh, yeah, one very fundamental thing. No matter who you are, you're a business owner. You run a, I mean, you are working in a business or whoever you are. You got to be learning all the time. Always mm-hmm. be learning. Your learning never gets over. College khatam ho gaya. Your learning doesn't get over. If you really want to do well in your life, right? And if you want to stay ahead of people, learning is the only thing that can get you there. So just keep learning. Learning is. a journey it's not a destination uh, how do you learn today yeah it starts from the internet okay uh, you you told education internet i think of yeah my education on linkedin is still is, internet, is still internet yes. because that's where i learned everything you have the ocean of content on the internet to start with and i say internet it could be a youtube it could be a growth school it could be any channel right i'm, I'm not saying come to growth school mm. or yahan se si bane seekho that is what is important right. keep learning right Like internet, like internet Absolutely. books for a few people. It is books for a few people. It's podcasts. Right. Just keep learning. Right. Amazing man. That was Web of Sissinti for you guys. Thanks a lot, Web of, for doing this. This thank was pretty amazing. Absolutely for me and for the audience also. Thank you. And I think they will thank you later. Thank <laughs> you. Thanks, man. Great. Thanks, man. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Awesome.